so I know you're also on Dark Winds, which uh, I know has a, a good following. Talk a little bit about your character there and, you know, uh, a little bit about where, where he fits in. Yeah, so Dark Winds, um, if you haven't got into it, you know, check it out, definitely. It's, it's uh, it, I think it's this, you know, film noir, um, old school Western type feel, you know, but on set on the Navajo reservation and predominantly Navajo characters or um, in, in portraying this character, portraying Hosky and, and coming on as, as, uh, as, as one of the leads, one of the regulars was, was uh, an amazing um, opportunity to arc a character that, you know, really, I think people would probably have a hard time finding his humanity and uh, such a rough character, been through a lot of trauma. And hopefully by the end of it, all I can say is if, if you get a chance to watch it, hopefully I do the character justice and give him a little humanity because um, for me, it was heartbreaking. Just, you know, you get attached to characters and you, you want characters to, um, uh, to have sensibility and feeling. And, you know, I, I, you wish the best outcome for them, of course. And, um, you know, things don't always go as planned. So uh, yeah. without spoiling anything for anyone who hasn't watched it, definitely watch Dark Winds, uh, Robert Redford, George R. R. Martin. It's like two Titans joining forces with uh, my friend, Chris Ayer. And of course we have Kyle Gordon and, um, and Zahn as, uh, as our leads. So it's, it's been pretty amazing. Yeah, talk a little bit about Zahn. And also I know Rain Wilson is, is, is in the cast as well. Uh, any experiences that stand out working with the, those guys? Yeah, I mean, I've worked with um, Zahn before on uh, Longmire. We had a scene together. Um, I believe this was right as Longmire, uh, right as it got cut and it was trying to ref it was trying to find a place. And so I think uh, in that, one of the scenes that didn't make sense was the scene that we had, unfortunately, together. But it was a great working experience. That was uh, my first time really getting to know Zahn and, um, and having a great chance to work with him then stuck in my head. And I guess it, it did for him as well. He, he gave me a, a great referral and reached out and said, hey, hey, I'm going to, you know, put your name out there to, for Dark Winds. I really think you'd fit this character. And I think you could do it justice. And the same thing with Kaiwa. Uh, we worked together. Uh, I led a movie called Drunk Town's Finest. Uh, uh, Robert Redford ex executive produced uh, Sundance Lab Project, which premiered at Sundance a few years back. And, uh, you know, Kaiwa was fun. And actually, I got to give Kaiwa credit. He, um, through that experience, uh, that's how I met my current manager. And so we kind of, uh, we share management and uh, uh, best friend and manager to, to both of us. So nonetheless, we've, you know, we've uh, developed good relationships since. And then the stuff with Rain Wilson was absolutely fun. Um, on the day, um, it was uh, it was it was a it was a, uh, a breath of relief to play something a little bit more lighthearted, you know. Um, whereas the rest of the series and for my character is pretty dark. I try to make it fun, but that was just on its own written as a fun scene. So yeah, what's it like to to work with Rain as an actor? I mean, he's brilliant. I, th I think comedians have a different timing, which works really well for drama just because they're so tuned in. It's almost like when you tune a sports car for the Grand Prix and then, you know, you're, you're, you're taking it out on a, a straightaway track. It's kind of like, you know, there, there's, there's a, it's a bit easier than, than comedy. Comedy is a bit easier or harder than drama, of course. And so I think they have that luxury. Comedians have a certain sensibility that, um, that they, they can pull things off and they're willing to explore. So uh, yeah, it was cool. Very cool working with them.